Hello my 420 Spot family, hope everyone is having a great day. It's Wednesday April 27th, and the month and the week are about over. In the news today for cannabis and psychedelics. Top things to know. President Joe Biden began commuting the sentences of people who have served time in federal prison for marijuana and other drug offenses. The clemency for 75 people falls short of the mass cannabis pardons he promised on the campaign trail, but advocates see it as a first step. Attorney General Merrick Garland reiterated during a Senate hearing that prosecuting marijuana possession is not an efficient use of the resources given the opioid and methamphetamine epidemic but didn't directly answer a question on reinstating federal cannabis guidance that was rescinded during the Trump administration. Kansas House and Senate leaders appointed lawmakers to a bicameral conference committee to hammer out the details of a medical cannabis bill that activists now believe could pass as soon as this week. Reps. Donald Norcross, DNJ and Mark Pocan, D.Y., hosted a roundtable on labor union organizing in the cannabis industry. They spoke to Marijuana Moment about the importance of the push in advance of the event. Washington state activists are preparing to launch a signature gathering drive to place a drug decriminalization initiative on the November ballot after a revised version of their measure survived a legal challenge. Activists in Denton, Texas announced they believe they have enough signatures to qualify a marijuana decriminalization measure for the local November ballot. The news comes as Austin is doing early voting on a similar cannabis measure for next month's election. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, DNY, tweeted, News, at POTUS has taken action to grant clemency for dozens of people with federal cannabis and drug convictions. In the Senate, we will continue the work to end the federal prohibition on cannabis and undo the harms caused by the war on drugs. Senator Cory Booker, DNJ, tweeted, I applauded POTUS on commuting the sentences of 75 people for nonviolent drug-related convictions. This is a step in the right direction to end the war on drugs. We must keep fighting to deliver justice to all those who have been impacted." Senator Kevin Kramer, RND, said Senator Ron Wyden, DEOR, approached him about a forthcoming marijuana legalization bill. Rep. Nydia Velasquez, DNY, tweeted, I'm glad to see President Biden commute these sentences, but it's time to go further. That's why I reintroduced the MORE Act to decriminalize marijuana and expunge nonviolent convictions. Rep. Dave Joyce, RO, tweeted that while President Joe Biden's acts of clemency signals a shift in the right direction, 14 plus million Americans continue to suffer from cannabis related convictions at the state slash local level. That's why I introduced the hashtag Hoppy Act with it Rep. to provide millions with a true second chance to achieve their American dream. Rep. Bonnie Watson Coleman, DNJ, tweeted, I thank it POTUS for taking this step toward repairing the damage that the failed war on drugs has done to our country, especially our most vulnerable communities. Rep. Nikima Williams, DGA, tweeted, This is the right move by it POTUS. That the vast majority are nonviolent drug offenses says one thing loud and clear, we must do more to remedy the injustices of the failed war on drugs. Rep. Eleanor Holmes Norton, Democrat DC expressed disappointment with the Biden administration's moves on marijuana in a speech at the National Cannabis Festival. Rep. Ed Perlmutter, DCO, tweeted, State legal businesses and their employees are put at risk every day. We need the hashtag Safe Banking Act to get cash off our streets and help protect our communities. At least 10 marijuana and drug reform bills are scheduled for committee hearings on Wednesday alone. Thank you for watching this video have a great day everyone. By my420spot.com